loving children of Mary. Let me welcome you to the 14th day of the beautiful month of October, extolling our Mama Mary through her wonderful title invocations. Jesus, our Savior, redeemed us from the sin of our first parents, and so we have hope in receiving the eternal reward of heaven. Today, we shall reflect on a very meaningful title, Mary, the Gate of Heaven. Mary is called the Gate of Heaven because it was through her that our Lord passed from heaven to earth. The prophet Ezekiel prophesying of Mary says, The gate shall be closed, it shall not be opened, and no man shall pass through it, since the Lord God of Israel has entered through it, and it shall be closed, for the prince himself shall sit in it. Eve, our first mother, had a part in the fall of man, though it was Adam who was our representative and whose sin made us sinners. It was Eve who began and who tempted Adam. It was then that the gate of heaven was shut by God the Father who sent them away as a punishment for their first sins. A gate, friends, is quite simply a way of getting in or out of somewhere. In our collective imagination, gates can be portals to other worlds. Often, the gate is as mysterious as the other realm itself, and finding the gate is like discovering the world beyond itself. In today's technology world, we use the words portals of, or websites, and once we enter consciously with or without our knowledge, we find ourselves entertained, enchanted or just carried away. St. Louis de Montfort describes Mary as the shortest way to get to Christ. He says, the sure means and the straight and the immaculate way, and again the most easy and the most perfect means by which to go to Jesus. If we have a look at Revelation chapter 21, verses 19 to 21, it testifies the foundations of the city wall of heaven are decorated with every precious stone. The twelve gates were twelve pearls, each of the gates made from a single pearl, and the street of the city was of pure gold, transparent as glass. Pope Francis, who has great devotion for Mother Mary, invites us always to look upwards because thanks to Mary's assumption, he says, heaven is open and we need no longer be afraid. Mary, who is a human creature, one of us, reaches eternity in body and soul, says Pope Francis. That is why we invoke her as the gate of heaven. There she awaits us, just as a mother waits for her children to come home. What a beautiful thought, friends. Can you picture your loving mother waiting at the gate for you at the end of the day with a smile and then she holds your hand and takes you inside? That's how Mother Mary waits for us at the gate of heaven. The Pope says, we are like pilgrims on our way to, on our way home to heaven. Mary, the new Eve, who gives us comfort and hope in our pilgrimage down here because she likes to see us with Christ up in heaven. Our Lord is in heaven and we have to pass through Mary to reach him. She is, friends, the only gate of heaven. In fact, legends tell us that just as angel Gabriel announced to Mary that she would be conceived by the Holy Spirit, an angel appeared to her many years after Jesus ascended into heaven and told her that she would be escorted by him to heaven. And 
we can only imagine the whole scene of how the angels came down and escorted her so beautifully right up to heaven. Let's listen to a beautiful story. In an ancient monastery of Normandy, a brother once lay sick unto death. Two brothers waited on him, but one day they both happened to be absent at the same moment. As the sick man lay there alone, he saw two evil spirits standing in a corner of the room. Clapping their hands, they laughed loudly, saying, Tomorrow, at the third hour, we will carry the soul to hell. The sick man, who had become a prey to great fear, for before his entrance into religion, he had committed grievous sins, which through false shame he never confessed. But looking at the evil spirits, suddenly beheld in the corner of the room, he saw a most beautiful lady who spoke thus to the two demons. Rejoice not too soon, for I shall give him such counsel and enable him to escape you. After this, the whole vision disappeared. The brother, understanding that the counsel Our Lady would give him was to make a good confession, sent for the father and made a full confession of all his sins, after which he received extreme unction and holy viaticum. He then peacefully expired, trusting in the intercession of Mary, the beautiful gate of heaven. Mother Mary, possessing a loving heart for us, her children, would love to have us near her. How she must rejoice when we hasten to pray for the holy souls from purgatory, paying their debts by our prayers and penances, and above all, by the indulgences we can gain so easily. Friends, she is awaiting for us at the gate of heaven to welcome us so that we get converted from our sinful ways through regular confession and the desire to reach the paradise of heaven where we can rejoice with our blessed Lord, her precious Son and all the choirs of angels and saints glorifying God in his majesty and glory. What a beautiful thought. Mary, the gate of heaven, be our succor and take us to heaven soon. Praise be Jesus, our most loving Savior. Ave Maria, may Mother Mary bless us all. Amen.